Hi kids! Today we will learn about force. So let's get started. First of all, we need to know that nothing can move unless some force is applied on it. Trees sway. We run, walk, move any chair, or vehicles move only when some force is applied to them. The trees move when wind or air pushes the trees. We can run if we apply force, that is, we push ourselves forward. We can move a chair by either applying force to push it or apply force to pull it. Vehicles move when lots of force is applied through the engine of the car on the tires of the vehicles to move. That is, nothing moves unless some force is applied to it, and every force is either push or pull. Push. It can cause movement away from one pushing it, and pull. It can cause movement towards the one pulling it. Let's see it with examples. Closing the door of the refrigerator. What force can close the door? We will push the door of the refrigerator to close it. Opening of refrigerator. What force can open the refrigerator? We will pull the door to open it. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects. Running a bicycle. What force is required to run a bicycle? You require to push the paddles to run a bicycle. Moving a chair. You need to push the chair away from you or you pull it towards you. Running also involves pushing yourself forward. Kicking a ball. Kicking a ball requires you to push the ball hard to move it. So kids, no matter what is the movement, in every movement of every object, either pull or push moves the object. We have seen that everything moves with some force and it's either push or pull. Now let's see what force can do. Force can cause an object to start moving. Force can cause object to stop moving and can also cause an object to change its direction. Here is your toy car. You can push it forward. You can pull it back. You can change the direction of movement of your car. You can stop your car. We learn that every force is either a push or pull. But we can also categorize force depending on whether a force is resulting from a contact between two objects or there is no contact between two objects. Now let's see what our contact force is. Contact force is the force in which an object comes in contact with another object. They also direct forces. Examples, pushing a car, pulling a rope, opening a door and closing a door, kicking a ball, running a bicycle. In all these examples, force is being applied and there is a contact between two objects. Only then, the object moves. You are not opening the door without touching it. You are not kicking the ball without touching it. Examples of contact forces are friction, normal force, tension, buoyancy. Now let's learn what are non-contact forces. The forces that move objects without coming in contact with the objects or they are invisible forces. That is, it is a force applied by an object to another object, which is not in direct contact with it, so they are called invisible forces. Examples, gravity, a force that causes a pencil to fall on the ground 
is gravity. It is the pull of the earth that causes the pencil to fall on the ground. Leaves fall from the tree to the ground. Why? Because there is a pull from the earth. Another example of non-contact force is magnetic force. Here is a pin. Now, bringing magnet closer to it, the magnet attracts the pin. That is, the pin is moved towards the magnet without any contact between the pin and the magnet. So there is an invisible or non-contact force acting here. More examples of non-contact forces are nuclear force, electrostatic force. So kids, today we learned about forces. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye.